Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and I'm sure. And in this tutorial, I want to show you why I always remove blemishes after using the mixer brush tool in Photoshop. So usually, most people tend to want or to wish to remove the blemishes first and clean up the image before they go in with the skin retouching. And usually, I would recommend that for people that use micro dodging and burning so that the blemishes don't distract the retouching process but if at all you use frequency separation this order doesn't really matter at all and i want to show you the advantages i tend to use and the amount of time i tend to save when it comes to cleaning up the blemishes or removing blemishes from images especially when i'm using frequency separation as my skin retouching technique so usually when people are removing blemishes they just come and they create a new empty or field layer you can either duplicate the background by hitting ctrl command j on the keyboard or you can just come to the new layer icon and you create a new empty layer and you come to sample to you select the tool that you want to use of course so for my case i'm just going to be using the clone stamp tool and sample to all, all layers and zoom in and i start cleaning up so that the blemish removal can be on this new blank layer and removing blemishes i'm just going to hold down alternate and left click to sample and simply left click over the blemish to remove it so as you're removing, you are going to be looking at him. Just look at the amount of work that we have to do on this area right here. Just look at the amount of work. And let me just try to clean up or remove blemishes in this case. So as I'm removing, you can notice that we are working directly on the image information. And this isn't really looking great. So just look at those patches that have been left within the image. Just look at those dark patches or dark brown patches. From the areas where we have removed the blemishes so i would recommend that in order to save time to remove blemishes always remove the blemishes in the frequency separation group or when your frequency separation action has been saved or after dividing the frequencies of the image into the high frequency and the low frequency and that is not enough remove the blemishes after using the mixer brush tool if at all you know how to use the mixer brush tool and let me sh just show you how to do that so i'm just going to delete that layer and come to my actions and i'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action since this is a 16-bit image and if at all you're interested in purchasing my skin retouching essentials pack or my photoshop actions the link is going to be in the description of this very video so i'm just going to play my action just like that and for the radius i'm going to take this down and i zoom into the area or the reference area and I take the radius up to a point when I'm just starting to lose out on the information. So 6 looks great. And hit OK and the action is going to play automatically. So this is what we have right now. So I'm just going to turn off the black and white layer. And come under the brushes. Simply right click and get the mixer brush tool. And come to the settings. The hardness is at 0%. And I make sure I select the second option. Which says clean the brush after each and every stroke. The weight we are going to be using a weight of 9%, the load of 75%, the mix at 90 and the flow at 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not checked. So after doing that, come and ensure that the low frequency layer or the color that is containing the colors or the layer that is containing the colors or this low frequency layer has been selected. And usually what I tend to do, I turn off the high frequency layer so that i'm not distracted with the details or the skin texture in the image and i simply i left click and hold down and i start painting colors that look alike so just i just want to look at the image and every area where we are painting that has those blemishes or skin imperfections just look at how they're just disappearing within the colors and how i'm just easily blending them into the image just look at how i'm just blending them within the image and let me just try to blend i'm just going to do a rough job here so that you can see what i am able to achieve by just using the mixer brush tool and the amount of work you may have to deal with when you don't use the mixer brush tool first so i'm just going to turn on the texture layer and just look at the amount of blemishes we have been able to flatten out in this very image. Just look at the before and after before. After you can see, it has eased 
out it has made the work of blemish removal easy because it has flattened out the blemishes in this very image just look at let's just try it one more time on a different area turn off the texture layer and just come and we try blending on this area that has those imperfections in the skin area just come and blend on that area just look at how nice and let's just try it right here and we see the amount of work the mixer brush tool is going to help us uh, try all by flattening out those skin imperfections or the blemishes in this specific image just going to come right here and just paint in just like that and just look at what we have right now and you can see everywhere i'm trying to paint using the mixer brush tool it is basically trying to flatten out or reduce on the intensity or the amount of the blemishes just look at the image just look at the image as a whole as i'm turning on the texture layer you can see the before and the after you right now you have less time and you only have those very evident blemishes to remove so in order to remove those blemishes quite well you can either turn on the black and white layer to see them clearly enough and you come and select the layer that contains the textures or the details in your photo you can kind of and get any tool that you want for example the spot but i would recommend the clone stamp tool and in order to clean up the blemishes these um may be the prominent or i prefer to call them the stubborn blemishes in the image so in order to remove these stubborn blemishes like i've told you the settings for my clone stamp tool the hardness is at 50 percent the mod is normal or percent the flat 100 percent align this checked and sample come and change the sample to the current layer because you don't want to sample information that has color so make sure sample is on the current layer so it can only deal with the information in the texture or the high frequency layer and now you can come and simply hold down the alt button on the keyboard or option for mac and just hold that down left click to an area that is close to the blemish and simply left click over the blemish to clean it or eliminate it from your image just look at how efficient this process is as you're trying to clean up the blemishes or the stubborn blemishes that may have remained but you can see how time saving it is and we have just made a few clicks right on the forehead as opposed to what we had or what we had to deal with initially before when we are trying to remove blemishes at the very first instance of our retouching process so you can always flatten out the blemishes by using the mr brush tool in order to save time so just turn off the black and white layer and just see how much of a clean job we have done with just a few steps or a few minutes of skin retouching and also blemish removal so this is it and for those that have always asked me why i remove blemishes after retouching the image this is the reason the first reason is the mixer brush tool flattens out or irons out most of the blemishes and it saves you time to or the time you may have wasted when you're trying to clean up the image or when you're trying to remove the blemishes from your image or from your photo so this is all for today's tutorial and if i told you i found this really helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.